going on, everybody? Welcome to Casa de Nerd. Here we game. I am the Mad Irishman. And uh, today you guys voted on uh, a game that I honestly didn't think was going to get voted on. Uh, Dungeon Shattered Lands. It is a um, roguelike game, but it's not a traditional roguelike game. Um, I've only played about a half hour of it, and I liked it, but uh, it's it's different than uh, a lot of what you've seen on the channel in a lot of ways, and we'll we'll go into it. Uh, but it seems really fun. There's a guy, um, guys, games and beer, Rob. He recommended it. Uh, he's a big roguelike guy. He said it was pretty fun, so I'm gonna trust his judgment, and we're gonna get after it. So. Let's get started. I had a, a game that I played a little bit of and I deleted it because I hadn't really made any progress and I wanted to start fresh for the stream, so let's do that. So there's four characters. Uh, you unlock them as you progress. There's a bard with an upside down guitar, uh, a witch, a vampire, and the paladin that you start with. Thy soul be blessed and thy uh, So you get some passive abilities. Uh, killing an undead monster gives a 5% chance to increase your next attack's damage. Every tenth coin is for your Holy Brotherhood, while others <laughs> might pour this tax into their pockets. The Paladin's brothers will feed the poor developers. Uh, we got some skills, so we can uh, self-heal, or we could uh, do some damage. Uh, we've got a wooden hammer, and we've got a rusty plate mail. Uh, health, attack, armor, critical... Uh, elemental defense and chance that our armor will take damage so your armor while it starts at 10 every time it get hit is a 40 percent chance that this will go down to nine or whatever how many how much damage you take so your armor wears away uh, better armor has a lower chance and has higher armor value uh, so that's an interesting little mechanic that goes along with it Come out and fight, filthy spawn of the underworld! Boo! Ah, just kidding. Used to be an adventurer like you, but I slipped on a wet crypt for broke my knee and starved to death. <laughs> Maybe I should sue. Anyway, you need to find the master key to get out of here, explore the dungeon by clicking on the block. So, you don't, like, move around in a traditional, you know, sense. You don't use the arrow keys. You, like, it's kind of like a tile uncovering game. So I click here. Okay, there's nothing there. All right, now I can't click anymore until I deal with this enemy. Hey, Pandaholic. Uh, so, yeah, been animated by the dark powers of Blotchy Path. Uh, so, element is physical, one damage, has three health. Um, no, because th there's no puzzle. It's just random what's under each tile, I guess. So, I mean... If you consider a guessing, not a guessing game, but like a, like you said, a tile flipping game like that to be a puzzle, then I guess it could be, but, uh, so monsters always strike first. Um, so what, what'll end up happening is I'll click him, he'll attack me first, and then I'll get my attack. So I blocked it. Uh, he didn't do any damage, but my, because my armor soaked it, but that 40% chance, now it's down to nine. He's got two health left. So that time it blocked it, but it didn't knock any of my armor down. Uh, so every time you go down a floor, it uses food. And if you don't have any food, uh, you take damage from starvation. Uh, so we got a map which reveals the golden key. So we can click this, use it, and it tells us the key is all the way back here. So we can avoid the rest of this but there might be treasure there there might be gold there might be artifacts of an unknown nature i haven't gotten far enough to know that yet like i said i've only played it about a half hour off stream so i don't know if there's uh it looks like there is a, a little bit of a rogue light element in that you can unlock other characters by progressing further in the game, but I don't know what carries over and what doesn't yet. So I'm actually really excited to find out. 
Uh, so this is what allows us to use our powers. So now that we have that, I could burn this to either do damage or self-heal. You get um, bonuses for killing all the monsters and fully exploring. So all the floors I played, which granted is only like eight of them, I always do full, full uh, exploration. So this guy's got bloodless, so he can't be affected with bleed. And if uh, he dies to a bomb, he does one damage to everybody. We don't have any bombs, so it doesn't matter. He's weak against fire, too, but we don't have really any... Well, I guess we could do this, but I'm not going to waste it. It's not worth it. All right, so he damaged our armor again. Okay, there we go. So we got a chest. It gives us a coin. Or three coins. There's a... I don't know why this activates twice. Three times. Hello? It just gave us, like, a bunch of coins. But uh, there's some quests here that we can do. We got our stats. Uh, so we got another coin. Got the golden key. Doors open. We can click on the door. We can go to the next level. So now, if we tried to go to the next level with no food, we'll uh, we'll have a problem. But it's you know, giving us some food. Uh, mug of ale gives us morale. Uh, if our morale is good, good things happen. If our morale is bad, bad things happen. So, right now it's good. We have a 10% chance to get an extra attack. It's pretty cool. Uh, another manuscript. Uh, we've got a bomb. So, we only have four spots in our backpack. So, we might end up having to use a bunch of those. There's a button. We always have to press. There's another button over here. I'm not going to use the bomb on this guy because I know he's going to blow up. Hit the two buttons. And... Oh, we got a boss. Uh, so we're going to use... Uh, oh, oh! Well, this is what I wanted. Oh, uh, we don't know any of his... Uh... We're going to use this. Ooh! Looks like it froze him in place. Or, well, no, it did something to him. We're still fine. So now we're taking damage because he's bypassing our armor because he's doing more damage than we have uh, armor to suck. But that's fine. He's dead. And we still got 27 life left. We finished our first dungeon. We got some more treasure whole bunch of money uh in between dungeons you can upgrade your character using that money uh open 50 dungeon blocks collect 25 coins dummy slayer uh looks like that's it for this unless we can get more for clicking on the mouse all right cool yeah like i i like it also i got the game for free um, so, I can't really speak to if it's worth what I paid for it, but, uh, Pangea is a world that relies on the faith of its inhabitants and mana, a powerful magical essence drawn from the bowels of the planet. In the year 156 BR, the people of Pangea, which I, I suppose this is probably a reference to Pangea after, well, you'll figure it out. Uh, they drilled for mana, they lived in prosperity, invented the most useful artifact, the mana phone, allows users to speak over great distances. <laughs> I haven't uh, actually played more than a couple minutes of Approaching Infinity either, so uh, I was happy that either of these got chose. Uh, but because mana extraction was left unchecked, the planet's dying. Imagine that. Humans are greedy, they fucked the planet up. Who knew? So yeah, the con the world breaks apart. Looks a little uh, World of Warcrafty. A little. Um, I'm assuming that's why the the continent was called uh, Pangea. Pangea. 
uh, Ooh, drifted well, apart. Well, well, well. There were portals, so people could still teleport back and forth. Uh, but they siphoned life energy and emotion from people and made their nightmares real. Undead rose from their graves, beasts mutated, became more aggressive. Soulless objects were possessed by magic. Darkness and despair covered weary lands. These the uh, these days the remain uh, the remains of humanity fight for I should say the remnants of humanity fight for survival. But okay. Uh, you are an adventurer driven by fame, wealth, and the unknown. You may save this world or die along with it. Oh, well, that's that's bright and cheerful. So we've got uh, Act 1 is over here, Act 2, Act 3. Each one of these acts that we uh, finish, we unlock a new character. And then it's got a percentage. Uh, what's the pinnacle of civilization and ruler of all? The undead control drummer. A uh, few remaining humans fight back or hide to try to survive. Okay. Neat. So this is the the zombie cow. Uh, creatures of darkness, I came for you. Reveal yourself. I heard your howling. Moo, moo, moo. A cow. Mortal, you cannot defeat me. I will chew you up like a pile of hay and leave you to rot. Mo! Your corruption is relentless, but my faith is strong. I will send you back to where you came from. Back to the void! Start here. So, Crypt of the Newbies. This is like the first dungeon. Shows you progress, average threat, your reward, yada yada yada. You can run these multiple times. Uh, I'm guessing they have diminishing returns, but you can do it. Come out and fight, filthy spawn of the underworld. Voice acting's pretty great. It's it's just the right level of cheesy pie. Uh, so we got our health and our armor back. Uh, this is where we start. So it's weird. This is not where I am. This is just kind of my character. This is where we start, and we have to like go get the key and then kind of come back to unlock it. Uh, we've got this dude here. Okay, I'm gonna punch him. Punch him. Oh, we got a crit. Yeah, it's 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 just it's not bad. I don't hate it. It's just weird to wrap your head around it first. So this is just telling us about the armor. Got another. Oh, these guys suck. And he's gonna do two electrical damage, so it's gonna bypass our armor. Uh, and we don't have anything we can use against it. So this is gonna this is gonna hurt. Oh no, it doesn't bypass our armor. Bonus damage from element. Oh. Huh. Why does it show this here? <laughs> Winged beast keeps giving your neck funny looks. <laughs> Alright. There's still clearly a few things that I don't understand about this. I got this before. This is actually pretty good. So it's a... Uh, Artifact. We can equip it into this slot here, but then once it's equipped, it can never be unequipped. It can only be overwritten. Uh, in this case, we get an increase to our attack value, but we lose 10% of our base, base HP. Base HP is 30, so we lose 3 hit points to equip it, but we get an extra damage, so we're absolutely going to do that. Ooh, a bag of... Uh, that's a... Uh, iron ingot adds armor. Use that right away, because it'll do 1 to 3. We're down three. Hey, it gave us two. So, cool. Uh, we got a skeleton. Probably a past adventurer. We know he doesn't have a weakness to ice. Probably because we fought that skeleton before. And we used ice against him. So I guess you probably learn from using elements against them. Yeah, I feel like that's worth it. Uh, I don't have anything else I can do to this guy. I don't have any manuscript. I don't have anything. So it's, it's just a, it's just a slugfest here. But got to kill him in two hits instead of four. So that's really good. Get a little more money. A little more money. Like I said, I'm just gonna go. Regardless of whether I know where this key is that I can leave, I'm gonna unlock the whole level anyway. Unless there's a reason not to. Like I'm almost out of health. 
Text enemies in a dungeon. 100% chance monster will get the shock effect. Neat. But that's not an artifact. We'll use that maybe at the beginning of next dungeon or something. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's an electrical lantern, apparently. <laughs> Alright, next floor. Uh, so we gotta find food on this floor, so even if we find the key, we have to find food first. Unless we wanna, you know, take damage. Here's the key, but we don't wanna leave yet. 15% chance to dodge attack. Well, tough shit. So we got shocked here, it looks like. Doesn't tell me what that does. Unlocked uh, another quest. Sharp stone use. Damage bonus 1 to 2 on the next strike. Okay, so that's just a temp uh, buff. There's some food. There's a manuscript. Got a skeleton. I think we'll save maybe this for the boss. Yeah, being able to take those guys out in two hits instead of four is huge. Hey, more food. And, uh, restores 1 to 3 HP. It says crafting reagent, too, so we'll probably hang on to that. Uh, this we'll use if we have to. Um, I feel like this is going to replace this. No, it doesn't say that it's an artifact. Okay. Next level. Um, yeah, let's use it. So we know there's a monster there and there. We got some food. We got an ice bomb. Oh, that's a shock bomb. Cool. Mainly used to drive away greedy monsters, boss immunity. So we could be immune to the boss in that level? That's, that's, that's something. All right, let's fight this dude. So he got shocked from the lantern. All right? Apparently being shocked means he doesn't get an attack. Hole in the floor. He's shocked. Doesn't get an attack. There's the key. Uh, and that's the whole floor, so... Yeah, let's go. Deep dark. Accuracy decreased by 20%. Use a lantern to scatter in the darkness. If only we still had a lantern! Damn it. <laughs> um... We're gonna have to, uh... I have to use some items here. So this guy right here. Alright. I meant to uh Alright, we're gonna use a climb on him. Dick. <laughs> uh perfect timing, and we'll use that to get some armor back. Definitely need manuscripts. Got some ham. A hunch, as it were. That. Oh, we got a skeleton. Uh, I'm trying to save this for the boss. I'm trying to save this in case we need it. I don't know what this does. But I'm trying to use my inventory. Oh, my God. To keep to keep space open since we can only hold four items. I'm just using stuff as I come across it. Okay, next level. Uh reached the fifth dungeon floor, so we can uh click on that. We got one buck. You suck, dude. 